gaming in BC is worth billions of dollars and now First Nations will benefit in a huge way. All 203 nations in British Columbia will have access to a fund that will be stable long-term funding to help with capacity building, to help with education and health care and infrastructure. According to Cheryl Casimer, it's taken 20 years of negotiating with various governments to get here and says that BC is the last province in the country to share its gaming revenues with First Nations communities. It's a big deal for all of us here in British Columbia because we have been waiting decades for that to happen. The announcement came at a recent gathering between First Nations across BC and provincial cabinet ministers. I think it's, it's um, fair to say that a lot of our communities are uh, impoverished and um, lack the resourcing necessary to deal with simple things like um, you know doing some renovations to elders housing or even fix roads you know if you if you got some big old um, dirt roads and, and things like that and I'm thinking of my community in particular because the, the, the roads are just atrocious that go to our houses um, and you know just to provide elder programming and youth programming. And one of those youth, eight-year-old Aiden Loring has an idea on how that money can be spent. At the meeting he not only grabbed a selfie with the Premier but had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with the Premier and BC's Minister of Indigenous Relations and Reconciliation. I still just want to learn like, more about my culture, language, other stuff like that. It's not doesn't mean an expansion of gambling, it just means the monies that we get from lottery tickets and from casinos will be shared uh, with Indigenous communities so that they can build and create the prosperity that they want and all British Columbians will benefit from. We have a budget in February. We'll know then what the actual quantum is um, that will be available for First Nations and to be distributed to each and every First Nation in the province. Blackjack, anyone? Tina House, APTN National News, Vancouver.